hello everyone so today in this uh, traffic system series we are going to work on how these cars detect pedestrians and when i am in front of it he tries to horn and if i move away it goes similarly see he will in a while he will try honking and if not he will honk again and the other thing is if i am in a road cross then no matter how long i wait it will not haunt kind of respect in that this is a pedestrian space even if it is not right so i see now the car is not honking so if i move away it can continue here it will haunt is it still in okay all right so this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download these project files and project files of all other thousands of tutorials that i have done in my channel the patreon page uh, for the membership so i'll leave the link in description below so at the moment if i uh, sit stand in front of the cars they can actually detect me and they do stop but if i move away the cars don't have the ability to uh, start or continue to move uh, forward so that's why so there are some problems still so what we are going to work on now is fixing that issue if I stand in front of a car, it will stop and if I move away, it will continue to go. Okay, so how do we do that? So this is this object. I call this pre-collision detector. And I have a begin overlap. And here, we set this weight variable to true if a pedestrian um, uh, is detected by that collider but also i am using this weight variable to make the car stop in front of these uh, traffic lights as well so therefore i simply can't uh, make the weight variable to false once a pedestrian moves away so Therefore, I'll add a new variable, an integer, I call it pedestrian in front, pedestrians in front, um, integer. So now, if it is a pedestrian, instead of making the way true, i remove that, I'll get the pedestrians in front and increment it and again if uh, on college uh, on component end uh, end overlap here if is uh, no get producer type if this is I'll add a switch if it is a pedestrian I'll decrement this pedestrians in front and if it is a vehicle I'll keep what I whatever I had before uh, now, better use this here in the speed control. If it is either weight or 
pedestrians in front is greater than zero. If any of these conditions are true, I will have to stop the car. Okay. Now let's test. Okay. If I move away, it goes. See? I stopped because of the red light. But that's fine. It goes away. Alright. Okay, so I downloaded this horn sound. Hmm. Maybe I need to reduce the volume. Okay, and I'll assign this it's the same attenuation setting as the engine. So then, when a pedestrian come in front, I'll play this horn also. That pedestrian. Wait, no. Yeah. So it's not fair to wait yeah it's uh, it's not necessary to play the horn honk once uh, the car encounter pedestrian so rather it should wait some time and if the character is not moving he the car should horn so i'll add a retriggerable delay and Let's see. Let's wait a random floating range between two to four seconds. And still, if the pedestrians are in front, if the pedestrians are not moved out, I'll I'll honk. Uh, well maybe i should implement it separately yeah custom event on and another custom event ai so horn is simply playing the horn sound so play sound at location sound is honk location is get at the location and ai honk so here this is where we should first wait some time and then if uh, if we are waiting for a light that means if this wait is true then we should not honk then we should simply wait and if false then we need to check if there are pedestrians in front of us if yes, we may honk. And let's wait. Uh, another random amount of time. The reason that I'm using retriggerable delay is a part other than a delay is if this is called again while we are waiting 
this delay is reset so only one time is this output is executed if i call it twice while i am inside the delay so let's wait five to eight seconds and ai honk again right now we need to call this from here A honk. Okay, now let's Yeah, now you can play it so very hard. So if I uh let's wait for a longer time, you should play horn again. So now, if I am in the crossing, this should not play the horn. See, they're not playing the horn because I am in the very strange crossing. All right, so I think that's enough for today. So thanks for watching, updated project files will be available for you to download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below and see you in another episode, bye and feel free to let me know what else you would like to cover in this episode.